So this is me at age nine. And this was taken in uh, Shalaftaham, which is the port of Shalafta, Sweden, my, my hometown. The year is 1967. Watching this is a bittersweet experience. I'm deeply moved by the short appearances in the clip by my grandfather Helge and my uncle Bernd. I grew up with my grandparents and my uncle Bernd was more like a brother who was 17 years my elder. The man behind the camera, the stranger who is filming me is actually my biological father. When I saw the clip for the first time, my rather vague memories from this particular day began to return. It was a very rare occasion for me to see this man. And in this clip, I'm feeling really stressed to start with, and then the whole film camera deal. What do you say to a stranger behind the film camera when you're nine years old? And the cameraman is supposed to be your father. The confusion I felt back on that day now starts to reappear. I guess it's always been there, sometimes in remission but never completely gone. Honestly, I guess I was always hoping for some kind of reunion with my father deep inside, but that was not to happen. Regrettably, we never got to know each other and we remained estranged until his death in 2011 which was an event that I didn't even find out until, uh, find, found out about until the following year in June of 2012. Getting the word that he had passed triggered an unexpected reaction in me. Getting the word that my father had passed triggered a rather unexpected reaction in me. I used to think that if he were to die that, that I wouldn't feel anything. I used to say, why would I get sad or, or miss somebody I never knew to start with? However though, it was really emotional. In fact, it moved me so much that I turned down an invitation to ride with Tony Rice to the Bluegrass Festival at Bean Blossom, Indiana. And that says a lot for y'all who know how passionate, passionate I am about this type of music and, and, and Tony Rice and the, the Bluegrass Festival at Bean Blossom is, is one of the historic, historic, the longest running bluegrass festivals in the country.
Speaking of music, I found out from my father's widow, a very sweet and hospitable lady, that he was a guitar player. So of course I asked her what kind of music he played. And her answer floored me. She said it was bluegrass. Now, how weird is that? It's ironic how I've been here in North Carolina in pursuit of the bluegrass since the mid 80s. And I'd say deeply connected with the bluegrass community, not only here in the US, but around the whole world. While at the same time, that stranger behind the camera, my father, was over in Sweden trying to play bluegrass style guitar. He couldn't make that up. Stay in touch with your people and your tribe. You never know what in life you might miss.